assalamu alaikum today i'm going to tell you about the use of operators the logical operators and formulas uh, for deciding different conditions using f formulas so the logical operator three or logical operators are and or and not and is used for multiplication or is used for logical addition and not is used for inversion so for if you want to use an operator you need to have at least two inputs and then you will get an output like if I say 1 multiplied by 1 is equals to 1 1 multiplied by 0 equals to 0 1 multiplied by oh sorry 0 multiplied by 0 is equals to 0 and 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 also that means that if uh, any condition is false then the output will be false and if all the conditions are true the output will be true other is the case for logical addition that is or and in this case if 1 plus 1 is equals to 1 1 plus 0 is equals to 1 0 plus 1 is equals to 0 and 0 plus 0 is equals to 0 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 so here we can see that if all the conditions are true that is one that the output will be one and also if any of the condition is also true then the output will be one if all the conditions are false then you will get a negative or false result and final is the case for not not you need to have only one input and it's just the inversion that means if you are saying something is true then its invert will be false and if something is false then inversion will be true so this is what uh, are the basic logical operators and now uh, what I'm going to do is to apply this in our if formula and this was the sheet which we used earlier in which this we have calculated by using the k5 value which was the percentage and if it is greater than 60 then we are considering that a student pass otherwise fail but the problem in this formula is that if a student is securing less than 60 marks it will again be considered pass it should be like this if a, if it is less than 60 marks in any one of the subjects then any one or more than one of the subjects it should be declared fail so what we are going to see today is to use the logical operators and apply it here you can see the is if condition starts and we have used and because if we multiply two false true 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 check out these it's above 60 it's true it's below 60 false so one false and remaining are two if remember i told you in the and operator if any condition if any one condition is false then the output will be false so we are comparing all the five subjects here with greater than 59 marks which are in e5 f5 g5 h5 and i5 and if any one of the subject is less than 59 less than 60 then automatically the result of and operator will be false and the false means the student will be declared fail and once I apply it you can see that it is fail here this is an improved formula and if I apply this formula to the remaining cells you can see that uh, only two students are declared passed here and the remaining are fail and if you go and check you will find that here you can see it's below 50 so if I increase it then it will be considered pass and if here if I see it's 66 and it's 46 so again you can see that if I correct the numbers they are considered passed here you can see it's 54 that is why failed here you can see 57 so the thing is that all the subjects are considered in this formula before deciding if the student has failed or for pass what you have to do now is to apply this on your sheet whether you have done it before or not you have to apply it on your sheet and submit it as today's class assignment and also I want you to write in three four 
sentences how do you interpret this formula okay